Hey guys and welcome to AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video I'm going to continue my Automator tutorials and move on to part 2. Automator is a great application on the Mac that allows you to create some very nice applications that can make your life so much easier on the Mac computer. So I'm making this part 2 because I've gotten a lot of great feedback on the comment section. So just letting you know, on any video feel free to leave me a video suggestion or just hop on my website and leave me a comment there too. But with no more further ado, let's jump into the part 2 of the Automator tutorial. Stay tuned. Alright, so let's begin this Automator tutorial and dive right in. So before we actually do anything, let me show you a demonstration of what the app will actually do. So the application will convert any image file type into a .png file type. So let me just drag this onto my dock so I can show you what it will do. Alright, so let's just minimize that. And so here's my image. It is a .jpg image, which is a JPEG image. So what we can do is drop this onto the application icon to convert it to a .png. So there we go. I dropped it right on. It says, do you want a preview of the image you edited? You can press yes. It'll open in preview. Well, a notification will pop up from the side saying the process is completed. So this is not a .jpg image anymore, it is a .png. So it's a really simple application, but it can do a lot and save you a plethora of time. So let's just put this and clear it out so we don't have that hanging around by our dock anymore during this tutorial. But let's get started with this tutorial. Alright, so you can either open up Automator through Spotlight or Launchpad here. So we just want to open up Automator. And we can see our recent documents and saved ones on iCloud. So this is just where all of your iCloud saved documents will appear. So let's just press New Document and choose the Application Type. Alright, so an application is where when you drop something onto the application icon, it will go through the process and that file will be associated with the programming code in your application. So in simple terms, anything that is dropped onto your application will be used in your program. All right, so first what we want to do is change the type of image. So let's do that. Let's drag and drop this code onto this. And we don't want to add a duplicate. We just want to change the original into a .png. So let's press Don't Add. Let's change it to a .png file type. And then let's ask for confirmation because we want to ask the user before we open up the image in preview. So let's say, are you sure you want to open the image in preview? And then let's just change the buttons to yes and then cancel if they want to cancel this whole application. You can add a description if you want to. You can change the logo by pressing on this box right here. I'm just going to put it to a warning triangle. And then let's search for open images inside of preview. So let's drop that in here. And then let's choose a delay, I think it's called. Let's just double check. It's either a wait, cam wait command. It's a pause command, actually. So we want to drag the pause command under the open images in preview. And then let's say for two seconds. Or we are for two seconds, then we want to display a notification. If I can type here, so let's put display notification. Yeah, and you can customize this if you want to. I'm just going to say the image was converted. Converted. And then I'll say for the message, the original image was converted to a .png file type. Alright, so this should work, so let's go up to File and Save. 
Just one more thing before we actually create this application and save it. If you feel like I'm going a little too fast, you can jump back over to my previous Automator tutorial where I took it a step slower and introduced you to Automator. So now, no, with no more further ado, let's just press save and create the application. So we want to save as, let's do image to PNG. You can associate tags if you want to. And some of these features are only exclusive to OSX Mavericks. I should have said that earlier, but I kind of forgot. So if you don't see it, like the display notification, that might mean you're running an older version of OSX X. All right, so let's save this into our applications folder, the file for my application, and let's press save. Then let's also go to file, duplicate, and then let's save this as a workflow. Let's save this image to PNG. Let's put that on our desktop so we have reference to it so we can easily make changes if necessary. All right, so we can close out of all these messy windows and let's open up Launchpad again and we can see our application is right there waiting for us. So let's just quit Automator so it doesn't mess up with our application. Let's just drag that onto our dock here. And let's go find our image. So right here, the image is a .png, so it really won't do anything. So let's just rename it by pressing return and change it to a .jpg. Use .jpg. All right, so then we want to drag the image type that is in a .png, it'll still work, onto the application. And it'll say, are you sure you want to open the image in preview? Press yes. Right here, it will appear. And it'll say the image was converted after the pause command that we associated with the program. All right, so then it says it is the AK Pro Films logo dot PNG. So it changed it from the dot JPEG to the dot PNG. Even though it might seem like it's not that much, it actually saves you quite a bit of time if you convert images quite a bit. All right, so let's move on to our second step, which is changing the application icon and making a dot DMG install file so you can install it on other computers with ease. All right, so first what we want to do is open up Safari and we want to go to iconfinder.com. Link will be in the description and you can see it has a bunch of icons that you can use in your projects. A bunch are free and a bunch are paid. If you're using free, make sure you read the license so you're not conflicting with any of that. But this is a Creative Commons and I read the description so everything is fine. And here are a bunch of icons that you can use in a ton of your projects. All you want to do is download that .icns file type because that's OSX. That's the way of associating with it with an icon file for applications. ICO, you don't really need to worry about that because you're not using a PC. A PNG, SVG, all of that, you can download that if necessary. All right, so I downloaded the file I wanted. So what we want to do is right click we actually want to open up Finder and find this application, and we want to press Git Info. Here's our Git Info pane right here, and all we want to do is change the application icon from this Automator one to a more customized one, and we want to drag our .icns file type onto that, and it will update the application icon. So you can close onto that pane right there, and we can see our image to PNG application has successfully created a new application icon that looks more appealing to the eye. All right, so we can minimize the finder right there. We can drag the image to PNG off of our desktop there, or off of our dock. And now I'm going to show you how you can create the .dmg. All right, so let's create that .dmg file. So what we want to do is open up the App Store and search for .dmg. And then we want to install DMG Architect right here. This will allow you to make the DMG file. So when you have that installed, you want to open that up. And from the template chooser that pops up, let's just choose something very simple. And let's go for the blueprint. And so what you want to do is you want to add your file. So you want to go to Applications. You want to search for IMG or whatever you named it. You want to press open and pop that into the square right there so it looks 
pretty nice and graphically appeal appealing. So now we can add some text as well. So let's just press uh, click to open. So I tried recently just to put an applications folder there so they can drag it right on top, but that seemed not to work. So if you find a solution, just drop that into the comment section. So how you can drag the application into the applications folder from here. It didn't seem to work for me, but if it works for you, just drop me a suggestion down in the comments as well. So we can customize this in all the fonts and all of that. So there we go. I'm not going to spend too much time because I want to end this tutorial soon so it doesn't get too lengthy. So all what we want to do is open up the inspector. We can customize where it is on the screen. Let's just press lock position and dimension. You can customize all of the licensing and DMG properties, but let's choose to save it onto the desktop as image to PN, PNG. We can change the volume name. I'm going to call it IMG to PNG. And when we're all done with that, press the red X to close that and press the build button. And you can also feel free to customize this all you want to. So just press build. It'll create the .dmg file. And there it is right there. And let's press the flag to finalize the .dmg file. So it all looks nice and appealing to the eye. So just let it finalize. And it'll take a couple steps to finalize it for us. Let us open this up. Let's make sure we save this. And uh, let's put it on our desktop and let's name it image to PNG. Press save. So we can always have reference back and change the fonts. All right, so here is our final .dmg file. You can post this online. You can send it in an email. You can even just post it on your website and share it with the world on the internet. But right here is your .dmg file. So when you double click to open it, it'll open up just like a real application and you can click on this to open it up. And you can always do that and you can open it in preview just like how the app works. So there we go, there's our final application. But before I end this tutorial, I want to say one thing. On my website, which is akprofilms.weebly.com, I have a form where you can upload your own automator apps. So I want to get you guys interested in creating your own automator apps on your own Mac computer. So just make sure to go onto my website and just upload your own automator app so your app gets known and that everybody can download it and see what you have created. So I totally recommend you guys go check out my website and even upload your own automator apps. And I preferably want you to upload the .dmg file so it makes everyone have a nice and easier time installing your applications and opening them and viewing them. So I really hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If you want to go back to the Automator Part 1, make sure to go do that if you haven't already. But I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you learned something. And please subscribe to receive more tutorials like this. And have a great rest of your day. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.